Sunday night in the mag room. Mark and Jared, Cisco and Muga, special guests coming. Yeah. Legend, legend Jay Tarsus. I was reading his stuff. He's really, he's a big deal. I know. I don't understand why he's coming on our show. Right. <laughs> which we'll ask him later. You know what I'm w- most worried about? What's that? Is, is that I'm going to have to pee in the middle of the show. And I, I, thought of, I thought of that. I just went to pee. You guys are like, going to make fun of me. What's Mark going to do when he has to pee? So I just went two minutes ago. So <laughs> I thought maybe but you'd, I, have, but I feel like you'd have like a, a Gatorade bottle or something. Or? I, honest to God, I was thinking about doing that. And I was like, I don't think there's any way for me to hide, though, from the camera. It would look crazy <laughs> if I was peeing in front of our sweat. Mm, that would, that would, uh, yes. Yeah, so I, I think I'll just have to bite the bullet, walk away, and you guys will make fun of my bladder. I mean, you could offer it up to everyone, like a bathroom break. You could say, Jay, I don't know if people do this, but... You want to pee in a Gatorade bottle with me? <laughs> oh, you mean actually walk away and go to the bathroom? Yeah, you just offer okay. to him that people will go to the bathroom. Part of our show, Jay. <laughs> we call it Celebrity Piss Break. I always use the Venn diagram thing. Well, are there other things that you can use to, to comment on ideas overlapping other than the Venn diagram? Mm, there's a lot of different diagrams. I have a, uh, she, she's no longer a customer, but I used to have a P.O. Box customer whose last name was Ven. And I always wondered if she was related to the diagram guy. <laughs> like invented the Venn diagram? <laughs> I mean, somebody did, right? But I, somebody, that can't have been something that really paid off for them. You don't think like you it's become a millionaire a, on the Venn diagram? No, because you don't, you don't really before, get anything out of it. Before the age of t-shirts and stuff. You think a Venn diagram t-shirts would have been huge? I bet there's Venn diagram t-shirts out there right now. Why did you bring up Venn diagrams? Because you were talking about Jay having a, a, a bathroom named after him and us taking a bathroom break, and I thought there'd be... I mean, it's not exactly the right use of Venn diagram. That's what I'm saying. I kind of wanted I some other some other uh, vocal point for things that overlap. I don't know what that would be. <laughs> like, people who need to go to the bathroom is one big circle? <laughs> And Jay Tarsus having a bathroom <laughs> named after him is another. And the mag room falls in that little <laughs> in ball-shaped overlap. overlap. Wow. That's amazing. I never would have thought that that I, would have overlapped. It's just, it must be karma. Yeah. Kismet. What's that? I don't know. Some word. I like it. You did that word of the day calendar. I keep getting all those words. Uh, there was one the other day, Zophrus, an architectural band on an outside wall decorated with sculptural representations of people or animals. It's very specific. Yeah, but like, I think I know that, what that's talking about. Is that about. a Zophrus? No. No, it's not sculptural representations. It's actual people and animals. That's a, that's a painted person and animal. That one doesn't have a cool word. I don't know but if anyone ever uses these words. Do you know either. what the word Zephyr means? Z-E-P-H-Y-R? Isn't that uh, one of the plane things the big inflatable planes oh a zeppelin uh i think a zephyr i believe is a cool breeze a wind like wind really a soft gentle breeze yeah or it says a fine cotton gingham what's a gingham gingham is a material like summer jacket uh, uh, if you bought a sport coat for summertime it might be made so it's of... a breezy jacket well not jacket it's the material that the jacket's made of is gingham yeah, but if you if if the word means a gentle breeze, means with this fabric on you'd feel a gentle breeze. Yeah, I can't. I thought it was Zeppelin. I can't believe that. Led Zephyr, remember them? <laughs> that was the, that was the loot, the band that didn't make it. They were good. <laughs> they did Stairway to the <laughs> Second Floor. It wasn't as deep a meaning. No, like, never. Gotta never get up to the second floor. <laughs> Do you want to call him since you know more of the technical stuff than I do? Well, where just he see should... if they're having trouble. They logged into it, so just see what's happening. Yeah, but wouldn't it be better if you called him in case you? No, had to it could. Tell be. Him I think it's more. I think it's more funny if you do. <laughs> <laughs> put him on speakerphone and put in the mic. We can talk. Hey, is this Dave? Yeah. Hey, it's Mark. How are you guys doing? Good. We're standing by. Okay. Uh, well, we. I guess Jared's. Uh, Jared sees that you're in the meeting, but. Ah, uh, there we go. It's coming in. Oh, cool. I think we're good. All around the world you can hear them. Hey, hey, hey. Talking about using kind of funny stuff. Hey, hey, hey. Mag room. Mag room. The mag room. The mag room.
Who are these people? <laughs> <laughs> We were getting nervous because I saw. I thought maybe it was. Uh, the Mark and I said maybe it was just a really long joke that even you were going to pretend <laughs> to log in and then log out and just yeah. be like, "Psych, we're not doing it." <laughs> I don't know how to do any of that stuff. So, which one are you, or who's who? I'm Mark. I'm the one that you've been emailing a little more, I believe. Where are you? I'm in Florida, Jupiter, Florida. I'm Jared or Cisco. <laughs> Cisco. Um, yeah, it's my last name, Sis. Yeah. Hey, look, there's the T-shirt. Nice. <laughs> uh, and I'm in Connecticut, about probably an hour from you, actually. Oh, really? Who yeah. was in Pittsburgh? I was there last weekend. Does okay. that mean you tried to listen to an episode, even? Well, we gave. I tried to give it a couple minutes, but it just <laughs> well, it didn't work for me. All right. All right, so this is going to be a lot of fun for you. Are you going to? <laughs> you got it, but listen, you got to you got to talk to Dave. Okay. Not really. Just... I prefer to be an off-camera but, presence. But he's my he's my manager. But I could ho hover around back here. So you only t you're only going to answer through your manager? Is that what you're I'm telling us? He's nervous. Well, he's going to tell me what, <laughs> what not to say. We don't have we don't have a manager. That's how bad we are. So, um, but there's no picture here, right? On the podcast? No, it's just audio. Audio. Okay, good. Good. Okay. You look good, though. A uh, me? Yeah. Oh, God. Are you kidding me? I look great. I like the nice. shirt. Nice. It's a good <laughs> shirt, right? Yeah. That is a yeah. good shirt. We yeah. wondered. We actually bet whether you would wear the the Magroom t-shirt today. I lost. I thought you would. But... <laughs> I, I, never, I, I never saw it until about 10 minutes ago. Do you think it'll make its way into your t-shirt rotation? Yeah, damn right it will. It's... Hell yeah. What do these cost you? Uh, you don't want to know. <laughs> okay, you ought to get hats too. That's what we That's were what just today. saying today. See this hat? Yeah, yeah what's that hat? Moonlight Diner. Oh, big diner. Is that you the one that you go to in your Ask an Old Guy video? Yes, exactly. We filmed okay. them. Yep. Yeah, filmed there. Why what's would your... you watch that? Why would you watch that those videos? Because <laughs> you're funny. <laughs> yeah, but why would you watch them? To I laugh. Know. Some, no, some but how would you know to watch him? Oh, well, we so this podcast start. I, so you obviously you didn't listen to a lot of it <laughs> at the beginning. We were talking about having a catchphrase, and then we were talking about you in the movie Teen Wolf. We don't want to talk about that a lot, but we were saying we wanted to get you on the show. So Mark wrote you a letter to your whoever your agent was a long time ago. It got returned back to us. And then, but we had watched, we were just Googling you and we searched things out. We like looked at um, Wikipedia and all. So we were just going a deep dive on, on your life, basically. I even listened, I listened to one of the episodes of your American Revolution um, radio show for BBC. Revolting people. Revolting yeah. people, yep. Mark said that was not his cup of tea. <laughs> no. It, well, well, what we wanted to do was, you know, you know, the little guy on it, the guy who is the it, shopkeeper? Or no, you were the shopkeeper. I was right? a shopkeeper from Baltimore. And um, the little guy was a was a soldier. His name's Andy Hamilton. He's really big time in in England. And I used to uh, I used to work I, I worked in England for about a year and I met some wonderful people there. And then we did this radio show which lasted for like I don't know why, for three seasons. And now they want to make a television version of it with somebody like Ray Romano or, or Nick Offerman to play my part. We thought it could make a comeback because there was the Hamilton musical. You guys could make a comeback as a musical. Jared really did say musical. that. Comedy musical. Yeah, he, yeah. He thought you, were, you might have been ahead of your time. Yeah, it was ahead of its time, really, well, with its historical. Well, it wasn't. <laughs> Usually we just, we just wanted you to be part of the show. All right. Usually we just do some stories and you can react to them how you want. The first okay. one, though, is probably a question you get a million times, but we had to ask about it. It came up based on an article that we saw, so I'm going to read to you the article, or at least a little bit of it. All right. Okay. There are many reasons to bemoan the decline of the chain bookstore, not least of which is the loss of easy, identifiable venues for decent public restrooms. With this precious resource siphoned from society, we are collectively more bereft of culture and utilities in one tidy package. But wait, a recent poll by the American Alliance of Museums asked museum professionals to submit their nominations for best museum bathrooms. Hmm. So the top 10, there's a few here. The first was Smith College Museum of Art. 
Uh, it was designed by two artists, and it even has its own Instagram account. Uh, number two is the John Michael Kohler Art Center in Wisconsin, and this was someone who it was founded by the manufacturer of bathroom implements. So obviously that's going to be high up on the list. Um, number three, I'm not going to read all of them, but number three, the Mariners Museum and Park in Newport News, Virginia, uh, has a history of going to the bathroom at sea. So it has mm-hmm. a bunch of sailors doing time. So then there's the rest of the 10, but then this is really what I wanted to get your feeling on. Uh, in honorable mention, I'm a little bit offended that it's that far down the list. Yeah. The yeah, Mass Mocha's we authentic industrial vibe preserved from its roots as a factory. So that was the on that wasn't in the top ten. Mm. So I, I wanted to know how you feel about that. I mean, we I actually just went there to the Mass Mocha Museum. I'm gonna share my screen here for a minute. There you go. <laughs> Tarsus <laughs> family toilet. And I also saw this. So it's a sign that says Tarsus Family Toilets. Yeah, so and the J and Rachel Tarsus Emergency Exit. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, I'm sure, you like I said, when this... There's a third thing there. Oh, really? Yeah. there's a, It's an exit sign. An exit sign pointing to another exit sign. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's that picture, I think. I mean, I think it's right with this one, right? Yeah. Right in the corner. Yeah, it's like, it's a weird exit. Oh, like no, no, it's not. Cor- it's not. No, this is by itself. Oh, okay. No, the other one is in another part of the museum. Did you choose to have a bathroom named after you? Well, well, it wasn't free. But, but you, you... Pay, you paid for it. Like, why did you choose that? Because I, because it was a I, funny. Because uh, Joe Thompson, the guy who used to run the museum, had a good sense of humor. Okay. <laughs> and uh, we thought of it together. <laughs> and it, it wasn't. It wasn't free. Let me just tell you that. All right. I, fig- I figured it was a donation thing, but I, I was just curious if it was that you wanted a bathroom or you, you know, or. Nope. Nope. So nope. will you be on the phone on Monday about how it's not in the top 10 museum bathrooms? Do you feel <laughs> or disappointed you give, in that? Should or? you give more money to make it a better bathroom? Maybe? I don't. I'm going to let it all go. Yeah. <laughs> I, just, I was a trust. I was on the Mass Mocha board for like 15 years and I'm a, I'm, I'm an emeritus trustee now okay all right I, I feel like you could call up and just hammer into him i could bit. make i could make trouble but i don't want to do that all right that's a good idea <laughs> I'm too old good, but i'm sure you've been asked about that a bunch like how you feel about that like reporters were at your house the north adams gazette and you the... can't believe how many people don't ask me about it <laughs> All right. Well, so you must like art, right? Um, well, yeah, yeah, I like art. <laughs> okay. Well, you've, I mean, you, I assume that based on your being Bathroom. on the board. I mean, it'd be weird to put someone on the board of the museum that doesn't like art, I guess, right? Yeah. Well, I like, yes, I like art. He might just like going to the bathroom. Maybe that's I like true. It. I enjoy bathrooms. Yeah. They're a lot of fun. And contemporary art. So this was a story. This is an older story from our show. Okay. And we have to, so we've asked every guest this so far. So this has to do with art. What kind of guests do you have? Uh, you, you, my sister. You want to know really what I our guests have been? So- Where's oh. the sister? Is she around all the time? She lives about 30 minutes south of me. I, 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 I see her pretty frequently. She was, she was appalled that I told you that she pooped her pants. Uh, but I said I, that was the hook to get our first celebrity guest on the show. And I thought it was worth it. And I think she agrees. Well, it's first of all, it's nice of you to call me a celebrity. I appreciate that. And second of all, um, your your sister sounds fascinating. T- tell me why. <laughs> what, what's fascinating about it? I don't think pooping in the pants uh, is a good thing for ladies to talk about. Well, that was her. That was her point. She yes. didn't want it to go on our pot. Now we really do. We have a very small listenership, so I didn't think it was a when huge you say deal. Small. When you say I mean, small. I think our we get like maybe f- on a good episode we get fifty downloads, right, Jared? <laughs> yeah, Somewhere in that 50, neighborhood. So fifty. Yeah. Yeah, we told you that. Fifty. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Jeez. Yeah. More people watch free advice from an old guy than oh, that. Yeah. It was close. It was yeah. close. Yeah. Don't we? Oh, over a hundred. Yeah, it's not viral. No, it's not viral. <laughs> maybe us together. It, well, are going to yeah. go viral. 
but, right, but so anyway. this, let's go to, like so the art here let me just read this and then so last year so this was from reuters in 2021 last year chilean born artist marco every city i don't know if he's been in mass mocha but mixed fat removed from his body by liposuction with ground beef to make meatballs huh. which he fried in olive oil and displayed in a public gallery jesus so Christ. he's trying to give a jolt and ask questions which is like contemporary art yeah right 13 yeah. tins of meat on a long table and he displayed the piece in Chile and invited 12 people to join him in eating the meatballs. Oh, God. So what we've asked our guests are is, would you do that? I'm going to no. go. I think I know, I think no. I know his answer already. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, no. No oh chance. Oh for 4, Mark. Oh for 4. I said I would I said I would try it. Just uh, you, you have no okay, interest at all what it might taste benefit. like. It's a fancy benefit. You're invited. You're bored. Like at the board of the mass milk, a fancy benefit. You're dressed out. You got your tux on. You go down. Artist. What? We wouldn't have that artist. Oh, okay. Well, I'm just saying they, that. well, so maybe for another art museum that's trying to get you to be on the board and yeah, they we, have some meatball and they tell you it's from, it's not, no one was killed. So it's not, but it's human liposuction, meatball. If you want to try one served. I, I swear to God, I don't know what to say. <laughs> no, you wouldn't. You're, you did no no curiosity at all. What human flesh might taste like? None whatsoever. I swear to God, no. I have That's, no. Okay. See? So, Mark, you're zero for four. I said no as well. Jay, I'm with you. Okay. No. Well, Mark can... said. Mark said yes. No guest has said yes yet. These seem like strange questions. They are. How yes. You, how, how do you come up with these questions? <laughs> Well, so next we wanted to do year the free advice from an old guy, your show on YouTube. We're going to promote your show on our show to our 50 listeners, uh, okay. directed by your friend, Dave Simons, who's on the show. Who, he, Dave, I'm, here. I'm here. He's a filmmaker. Yep. His friend is a filmmaker. He, he, he has a camera. Show him your camera. It's over there. <laughs> So if you do our, can we call ourselves podcast hosts because we have a microphone? Does that? Yes. yes. Oh, all right. Great. And the headphones really sells it. Good. How, how do you guys know each other? College. Which Where? one? Wake Forest. Okay. They're good. Football team's good. Yeah. My wife went to Williams, actually. She did? Yeah. She's a class of 2001. Jesus. Wow. You guys are young. My class was 1961. <laughs> You got kicked out, didn't you? Twice. <laughs> How do they let you graduate from a school that you get kicked out of twice? I didn't graduate from here. Oh, oh that's not okay. what they said on their website. Are you just class of because that's when you would have graduated? And I, I, well, I'm, I've actually served as an officer of my class. and um, But even though I didn't graduate, 61 was when I would have graduated the first time if I hadn't flunked out. <laughs> and then 60, I was class of 62 for a while, and then I was flunked out again, and then I went to Ithaca. <laughs> School My friend Derek knocks. went to Ithaca. Who went? My friend Derek. You know him? Derek Case. Derek? Yeah. yeah. Nice. Derek? Good dude, Derek? yeah. Great hair, right? He's got some of oh. the best hair. Oh, he has great hair. Good yeah. arms, too. Arms. Right. Eh, noodly. Wake Forest, did you play football? <laughs> no. We both did, yes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Quarterback. No. No, we, uh, yeah, we. I don't think we did much. We hung out a lot. Went to football. I've seen football games there. We did. They were terrible when we what were What are you doing? That's what they did. Oh, okay. yeah, nice. A little bit of that. Some of that, yeah. Legal now. Massachusetts legal, so. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We can go We can go to pot shops. And get stoned and go to the diner, Moonlight Diner. Oh, you don't need to be stoned to go there. It's just What's, what's their specialty? What do you get? Egg white omelet. No bread. Cottage slathered with cottage cheese. On the omelet? No, on, on top of the omelet. Really? Interesting. Little I've never seen that before. Omelet. It looks like roadkill. I was going to say, you won't <laughs> eat human meatballs, but you'll eat cottage cheese on top Have of Have you donated omelet. money to sponsor an omelet at the diner, the Tarsus omelet? Or? No, no, no. That, no I don't, they, don't do, they don't do that. They're not like that. Do people know you? Do people so the in museum your... is like nobody, that. Nobody knows me. No? Are you being serious? J uh, Dave, do, do people recognize Jay when you guys are out and about? He has fans out there. Like, yeah. Okay. Right. I Bunch would, of, I would usually weirdos. <laughs> like like us? Are you, are you thank you. Thanks. Are you implying that I'm we're weirdos? Tell you something, gentlemen. 
Yeah. Right. A lot of people have written. Stop yelling. And occasionally <laughs> I pass it on to him. And usually he, he goes, no. And you're the first people he said, tell them they can write me. What was our, what, what got you? I don't know. I think the t-shirt. Yeah, the well, free t-shirt. <laughs> I thought the T-shirt, or I thought it, I thought maybe you wanted to talk about my sister pooping her pants. I thought one of those two I might have, have been. Because well, we was, figure we have to get another guest. <laughs> we have one now. We have to get another one. We were wondering if you knew how to do that. Like, yeah, did, well, what did we do right to get you on the show? I don't know. You should bring in just local people. What was that whole thing you did about the movies you never saw? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Well, I wanted to ask. So I, I go through little phases where I'll buy classic dvds and watch them when i'm going to sleep and african queen and i like the maltese falcon but i'd never seen citizen kane and you told me to get citizen kane and i did and i did i wanted to ask you what i mean i watched it this week i actually watched it twice this week just to sort of get a good feel for it. and i wanted to just see why you thought it was such an important what about citizen kane makes it you know citizen kane i guess what well was? well it's it's one of the great movies of the of the era it's orson welles you know, it's black and white. It's a it's, it, it's a great movie, but I didn't I, I didn't tell you to go get it. Oh no no no! Well, I you think told, you did. I you kind of told me it. you should. You told me I should see it, right? Well, you're talking about all these movies, and you have never seen Citizen Kane. That's it's crazy. true. Yeah, it is crazy. Mark. I mean, I have. Well, you seen called it unforgivable, and I think of like war crimes as unforgivable. I don't know if I if I deserve to be in that category for just <laughs> nice. being ignorant of a movie that was made. I think you do deserve it. <laughs> yes. Yeah. All right, here's the next one. Go ahead, take it. All right, this is from uh, one of our listeners. Not Who? really. Uh, it doesn't say. Particular. That's, PR. that's their name, Particular. A few years back, I made my boyfriend a painting. It was oh. a nice lake scene with two little people on a boat in the middle that I meant to be us. I put a lot of thought into it. I gave it to him and he wasn't very impressed. <laughs> he hung it in a weird spot and when we had broken up for a short period of time, he left it on my doorstep. When we got back together, I expected him to want it back, to ask me for it, and he never did. He, oh. he, he, he looked at it, I, I felt bad, so I put it in my room. He looked at it every day for three years and never said a word or asked for it back. I brought it up a few times that it heard he wasn't interested in it and he still didn't ask for it back. I asked him about it he said, it's just amateur. So that hurt my feelings, and he laughed it off. What should I do? Get away from him. She sounds cute. Is she nice? Oh, really nice, yeah. Why is she sticking with this guy? I don't know. I mean, you know how relationships work. Well, He's a professional painter, and she wants him to... <laughs> oh, oh, he's a professional painter. Yeah, and she can't impress him. And he called her amateurish? Still, she should get out. He wrote a scathing review about her, too. Really? She should hit him on the way out. All right. Yeah. I was going to say pay to have like him, him killed. On side, like on the side of the, like here. Oh, like a neck chop? Give him, give him a neck chop, kick him in the groin and leave. Yeah. All right. Wow, a double. Should she, should she keep painting? Absolutely. Yeah. Right. I like it. He's probably a genius. Would you help get her stuff in uh in Can we put, her, can we put it in, in mass, mass mocha? mocha? <laughs> sure. Really? I can't do anything like that. <laughs> Just under that emergency exit sign. Was part of the joke how small it's written, Jay? It, it is really <laughs> small. No, it's still charge money. <laughs> I, just, I just thought it was it was funny that, I don't know, the, the, the fact that it's a bathroom and an emergency exit and then that it's written so small, I just thought that, I don't There's know. There's no bathroom in the emergency exit. <laughs> no, it's a different. It's a different. It's a different sign. Get your stuff straight. <laughs> Mark's never been there. Yeah, well, he's talking like he's he's talking like he's been there a hundred times. I know. I didn't, I didn't say that. You shouldn't do that. in Jupiter, Florida. I didn't say anything. I've been who to the Burt Reynolds in, Theater. Who, tra who, who trains in Jupiter? Burt Reynolds. Oh, no, no. The baseball. Uh, baseball. Oh, 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 oh. St. Right. Louis. Uh, the Marlins. And Marlins, and Marlins and the Cardinals. Okay. You like baseball, Jay? I, I, yeah. I used Who's to your team? Ball. Baltimore Orioles. Oh, they're doing well this year. I know. Well, one, one of the worst teams in baseball last year. I lived in Baltimore. Baltimore. You did live in Baltimore? I lived there for 10 years. Yeah, I was going to. I lived in Pittsburgh. Really? You're from Baltimore, aren't you? Are we just naming places we live now? <laughs> no, I lived in I'm Pittsburgh. Just I've been to San Diego, Jay. 
You what? <laughs> I've been to San Diego. I've never lived in San Diego. <laughs> What's your favorite place to get uh, crabs in Baltimore? I can't. I'm allergic to crabs. Yeah. Cra- I would be dead if I ate a cra- if I ate crab. Why are you trying I- to kill Jay, Mark? Oh, sorry. This is a little game, and it's it's going to sound worse than it is. A okay. little game called Would You Rather. So we'll ask a question. I'm going to alternate. You're going to go first, but you can respond to either one. You decide which one you would like to do, and you can expound on it. So the first one, would you rather your shirts be always two sizes too big or one size too small? Do you want an answer? Yes, that's why I'm asking. Yep. The former. Two sizes too big. Yes. Why? Why? <laughs> yeah, you got to answer why. It's like an essay question. Because they're roomier. All right, you'd rather have the roominess... Then be tight, then be tight. And All you right. look stupid with and a then, real tight you know, t-shirt. I mean, you and, look- then, and then like whatever fat you have on your body would just sort of- Makes you look like a sausage. There. And as you get older, you know, fat gets a little, hangs a little bit differently. So mm. what do you, what size do you wear right now? Large. So you'd have to wear an XXL. You'd be good with that? No, I wouldn't be good with it, but I would rather have an XXL than, than a medium. Medium, yeah. All right. Mark, how about you? It's the same answer. I'd look same ridiculous answer. if I wore a size large or medium shirt. All right. So, Mark, this one's for you. We'll do quick. You know, hitters. Mark's, you know the lighting on Mark is not as good as on you. Thank you, sir. I don't know how to change that. Okay. Okay. Can I do this? That's better. Look, keep looking up. Just look up like that. <laughs> I feel okay. I feel stupid doing this though. Is this like when you were Jay when you're in show business and you had like an assistant could just make them do stuff the, like that whenever the, you want? Whatever, yeah, whatever you want. The key <laughs> grip would help me out in this situation, right? The key yeah. grip and the best boy. The uh, the key grip would the uh, what is it? <laughs> the gaffer. Gaffer. Oh. Yes. Is that the guy that actually holds the thing? What does the gaffer do? <laughs> he needs anything electrical. So, Any, what's it, you, electrical. so you gaffer. could tell him to just look up in the sky. And he would do it. If you're like, Gaffer, you're messing up my or lines. They could, or they could strike. But all those terms are shipping terms, shipping crew members. Oh, really? Yeah. Really? See, D. Look what Dave's bringing to the show. We should talk yeah. to Dave. D.W. Yeah. Griffith did the first big movies with that needed a lot of crew, and he thought, what, where am I going to get all these? And he went to the shipping yards. Why don't you sit down here and talk? Because I'm making dinner. Oh, okay. <laughs> what are you guys having? I don't know what he's making. Human meatballs? Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. Synergy. All right, Mark, this one's for you. Okay. Jay, you can also answer if you'd like. I don't okay. know. Would you rather have hands that kept growing as you got older <laughs> or feet that kept growing as you got older? Hands. <laughs> hands? Cause, well, because I don't, you sh- I'd have to keep buying. I'd rather have and... one foot and one hand. That, that would grew. be cool, too. Wow, all right. Yeah, it'd be interesting. It would affect the way you walk. Yeah. <laughs> Which like hand would you pick? Left. I'm left-handed. So you want the left to keep getting bigger? Yeah, because I can't. I can throw. I could throw with my left hand, and if it was really big, then I I might have been able to be a professional. <laughs> might have been a professional ball player. What would you do with your big foot, though? What, why would you? Be, that'd be weird. I would have the big foot on the other side of my arm. <laughs> you think that would balance it out? Yes, maybe. I feel be like you'd for- always be running in circles. Yeah. Although I guess if you're playing baseball, that is the, the point of the game. So yeah, these gotta, good, it's got to be. These are all good, really good. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I got I got a few more. I, I'm glad you like it. All right, would you rather? So this is about like. So if, I don't know if you listened last week. I did, Mark. <laughs> as you probably missed just last week. I know you skipped it, Mark. Killed an endangered species with his car. No, I didn't. A with Florida a panther. Car. You hit a panther? A Florida pan, which is an endangered species. You can go to jail and have up to a $100,000 fine for it. He tried to deny it the second week <laughs> that it was actually a panther. He said it was a bobcat. I think it was just a bobcat. So here's the question. Would you rather snitch on your best friend for the crime they committed or go to jail for the crime they committed? Me is- go to jail personally for the crime he committed? Yes. <laughs> Well, assuming Mark was your best friend. I mean, I know you guys have a, a friend thing please, please, blossoming. Please, 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 please say yes. Please say yes. Please say yes. 
This is this is. I don't like the alternatives here. I they're, think well, that's that's why yeah. it's a would you rather. You got to pick. You'd snitch. You would snitch on me before you would go to jail for me, Jay. I again, I don't blame you for it. I'm okay with that. We're not that close, but we're getting there. Maybe no, we'll but this is your best road. friend. Assuming your best friends. Oh, I thought. Yeah, okay. you have to assume it's your best friend. Yeah, you got to get in character here. I've been assuming that ever since we started. Email. Why would you kill a panther? Yeah, why? I didn't mean to, and I don't think it really was a panther. I think it was a bobcat, but You're I said lying. panther because I was, I don't know, I thought it was, a, I wanted the story to really, you know, pop on on the, on the podcast. So <clears throat> Okay, uh, well, a Florida panther is not a human being, right? I, it either was a panther, a bobcat, or a guy. I don't know which of the three it was. <laughs> but it was small enough that after I did a little research, I think it was smaller than a panther. So did I'm thinking it was a bobcat. Did you keep going? Oh, yeah. How fast were you going? About a hundred. <laughs> was, no, was it a guy with a really big foot and one big hand? Yeah, he was I would have out. to snitch. You'd See? snitch on your best friend? If you were going a hundred, well, if you're going a hundred miles an hour. <laughs> I wasn't really going. Say, you, need, you need to get off the road. <laughs> this one's for you, Jay. Would you rather wake up each morning to find that a random animal appendage has replaced your non-dominant arm or... Permanently replace your bottom half with an animal bottom of your choice, not human. So some random, you wake up with random right arms like crab, crab claw. He's already got that big hand. Though. That's going to throw all sorts of things <laughs> off. Or you just get a bottom. Like you could have a horse bottom, a yeah, fox bottom, one. a bear bottom, whatever you want to say. fox yeah, bottom? It happens when I wake up. Well, the, the arm changes every morning when you wake up. So and the bottom says. half, you just pick permanent. You just have it permanently. Uh, give that to Mark. I you have a pass. You get one pass. That's it. I want okay. a kangaroo bottom with a big right hand. That's what I wish I had said. Yeah. <laughs> so you could take it from me. I'll edit it. We edit this afterwards. So if you want to. Yeah, this show. Did you I don't really... know what you're going to edit because I don't hear anything yet that worked. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And, well, and Mark, anything else you? That was sort of my list. Jay, anything you have you want to ask us? No, I think <laughs> I think you guys should keep doing what you're doing. I think it's very nice. All right, it's been a pleasure. Would you, would you be on again sometime? Um, not not. <laughs> it's not there's got to be some time lapse. No, yeah. no, but not it, soon. Not like a regular. Maybe next year. Like an new, anniversary episode. Yeah, let's do that. When I get All new right. new t-shirts printed up, or or hats, or if my sister right, should. A hat. Or if my sister shits her pants again. Uh, <laughs> what's your sister look like? She gets, mis well, not mistaken, but she gets compared to Drew Barrymore. She's cute. She's okay. about five foot zero, blonde hair. Yeah. Okay. Not the type of person that you would uh, imagine might have just her pants 30 minutes She ago, was a really know? good sport. She was on. Yeah. She let us talk. I brought up stuff about secrets. She let Mark talk about it. It was, she was a really good sport. So she's been your best guest so far. Probably uh, we had so we had a guy on who Mark had a drum set that he wanted to give away and put on Craigslist and we had a guy who was an addict like a recovering addict he was on and he got the drum set but in exchange we had him on the podcast that was his was he good yeah it was interesting I mean he had a, quite a story of yeah. redemption and failure and, do you know Jay you have a little renaissance with your like the Bobby Finstock character that that has a little. There's a, a podcast called The Rewatchables that does movies, and they have the Bobby Finstock piece of advice with Bill Simmons, who's... I didn't know that. We wondered how, like, you were so funny in that movie, we wondered how that didn't get pivoted into something that you did after, but... Um, uh, it, it, was, I, it, was a good, it was a good director named Rod Daniel who directed it, and he said, so sort of just said, do whatever you want. <laughs> yeah. With that Bobby Finstock role? Yeah. I was wondering if it was scripted or if you just sort of went with it. It was it was a suggestion, and I just sort of <laughs> improvised a little. Yeah. Uh, Very naturally funny person, Jay. Well, this you know, this is not easy what you guys are doing. You it's mean how bad, you? We're, how bad we're doing? No, 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 no. It's not easy what you're doing. I, I appreciate what you're doing. I think it's really hard. All right. Then why are you smoking? You shouldn't be smoking. That's true. No? No, I don't I think just, it's good for you. I, I could be I've, wrong. I've heard I think, rumblings about. I heard rumblings about that. I think there's a lot of stuff out there that'll tell you that it's not. It's not the best thing you can do. But how much do you smoke? 
too much. Okay, good. Yeah. I used to smoke. <laughs> I, used to smoke. I would pick you. I, I can see you. Want to know, I why, I I Want to know uh, why I stopped? Yes. When my, when my son was nine years old, I asked him what he wanted for his birthday. Oh, boy. He said a pack said, of smokes. He said, I want you to stop smoking. Oh. I said, okay, I'll just stop smoking and I won't get you any birthday presents. <laughs> <laughs> what did he say to that? You know he, said? he said that would be fine, Dad. And I never smoked after that. Yeah, that was about. Bought, did you stop ago. buying him birthday presents? No, I no. He did okay. <laughs> yeah, you tried to call his bluff there. You thought he'd be like, "Oh no, I really no, want to." No, I know. But anyway, have a kid and then let him tell you that. Okay. All right. So get on that. Okay. I'll tell you, Mark. That's what I want for my birthday. You're not my son. Me, as far as you know. <laughs> All right, boys and girls. Can you do our? So we do a, a a a line at the end of every episode that's similar to one you did in Teen Wolf. Can you say it for us as the final? We what say about? so we say stick with the mag room and everything else is cream cheese. Do you want me to say that? Yes, please. Stick with the mag room and everything else will be cream cheese. All right. All right, there you go. Thank you, Jay. Jay thanks for being on, man. This was Thank wonderful for us. Hopefully, it was Next somewhat year. fun for you. Next year with a hat. <laughs> One year, all right. We're going to hold you to it. With Thank hat. you, Dave, too. Thanks, Dave, for help. Good job, guys. Thank you, guys. All right. Thank See you so you. much. Keep doing it. We will. Stay with it. Ooh, ooh, I like my groom. I like my groom. Ooh, ooh, my groom is good. My groom is good. Ooh, ooh, I like my groom. I like my groom. Ooh, ooh, ooh my groom is good. My groom is good. The my groom's good. Ooh, ooh, I like my groom. I like my groom. Ooh, ooh, my groom is good. My groom is good. You should always wear Hawaiian shirts if you can.